Hey everybody, it is late at night and I am Norman. Tonight I am doing an unboxing and first impression of the D1 Milano Silver Ultra Thin. So let us begin. <laughs> Interest in 1970s watches has been brewing for a while now. I've been seeing a lot of cushion cases, LED watches, and even a growing discussion about bund straps. And with the pending retirement of the Nautilus 5711, it seems that classic Genta designs are on everyone's mind. Perhaps that's why I keep seeing them coming through all my feeds. So I chose to do a video on alternatives to the Nautilus and the Royal Oak. And if you haven't seen that video already, I've put a link to it in the description below. Of all the alternatives that I put forth in that video, my personal option was the D1 Milano. I chose this particular watch for five reasons. One, the Nautilus styling. I personally prefer the Nautilus over the Royal Oak, so the fact that this watch leans that direction was a win for me. Reason number two is the dimensions. While it's true 40 millimeters is a bit large for me personally, I would have preferred 37, 38, somewhere around there. I do appreciate how thin this watch is. Reason number three, it has a sapphire crystal. No mineral crystal for this everyday sporty watch. I mean, if it was a dressy watch for this price point, who cares what the crystal's made of? But I feel like a sports watch or a tool watch really ought to have a crystal tough enough to handle its job title. Reason number four, minimalism. This watch does not have a date window. That is the one reason why I didn't go with the Tissot PRX. I just can't hang with that date window. In fact, this watch is so minimal, it's only a two-hander. That's divisive, I know, but I personally love me some minimalism. Reason number five, the hands. I have a weird thing for Delphine hands, and I've never owned a watch that has them. So I figured this would be a win-win. I could get a watch that I should review because I chose it as my option as an alternative to the Nautilus or Royal Oak, and I get a watch with Dauphine hands. So I ended up buying one, and it is here now. So let's do an unboxing of it, first impressions of it, and we'll see if I made a mistake. So here we have the DHL bag that the watch arrived in. What's cool about this brand is they'll ship you your watch within a week. So this arrived within a week of ordering it. Ooh. There's the box that it came in. Let's uh, open this up. is healing nicely now it's just a discoloration sorry about the gross finger and here is the box within it's like a kind of rough wood texture cool angles there I like the black and white, super utilitarian. I like it. Let's get this box out of the way. And 
we'll open it up. All right. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Nice. All right. So we have a hang tag. Get rid of that guy. We have some documents here. to share amazing moments with you. Thank you for purchasing a D1 Milano watch. This watch is an original creation, designed, tested to meet our standards of quality, attention to detail, and attitude. We guarantee this watch has been manufactured with the greatest care. That is good to know. A little bit about the company. And my first impressions of this company are good. I reached out to them to see if they had any uh, discount codes or anything that I'd be able to use uh, in purchasing this to review on YouTube. They didn't, but they let me know in signing up for their newsletter you can get a discount. So if you're interested in these, you can sign up to get notifications to your inbox of your email account and you get a discount so that's kind of cool free shipping also got the warranty your usual stuff there Alright, let's look at the watch itself. Alright, let's get this cushion out of here. Nice. Man, this watch already feels solid. Seriously, I haven't even taken it off of the cushion. solid. The bracelet feels solid but not overly heavy. Looks like we have a sticker up here. Let's see if I can get my fingernail under it. interesting I don't know how many companies do this but it looks like they may have put these notches in here so they can apply this and then screw in the screws maybe hmm. that is really cool looking black jewel on the crown there it's all brushed except for these edges here and yeah so far this looks like a really nice piece I mean it feels solid it looks great Wow. Look at that dial. 
smile. And those hands, the Delphine hands. It's interesting because the watch is really sporty looking and the dial is really dressy looking. Huh. And look at how thin this thing is. That is so cool. Super thin. So far, I think I chose wisely. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. So there you have it, the D1 Milano Silver Ultra Thin. We've taken a brief look at it, some first impressions, some uh, first opinions of it. In my next video, I'll do an in-depth review of this watch. Thanks for watching.